Fear is like sand. It's impossible to get rid of once it touches you. The tiny grains in small amounts might only chafe, but if it's left to build, to collect more and more, those grains turn into massive dunes that are exhausting to scale, or worse, become quicksand that will swallow a person whole. I sit stiffly on my onyx throne, an inane half-smile pinned to my mouth as before me, my kingdom dances. Highborn authoritates currently in favor with the crown, my sister's crown, are dressed in fancy costumes that mimic flowers that only grow for a single day after a rain in our desert dominion of arid. The dancers swirl by in a kaleidoscope of color, blurring together until all I see are flashes. Cunning eyes turned my way, always watching. Smiling mouths that look more like bared teeth. Jangling laughter that sets my nerves on a knife's edge. They're all here to celebrate my 19th birthday, mine and Tabra's. Only my twin, the true queen of Arid, isn't here. I am, and they all think I'm her. A large hand lands on mine, gently, or so the people looking on will think. What they don't know is there's always purpose in the way Edelon touches me. And I have to try hard, so bloody hard, not to flinch. I force myself to face him. Turquoise eyes. I don't like meeting his gaze. His eyes remind me too much of... I cut myself off from thinking the name, and focus instead on the man at my side right this second. King Edelon. My husband, as long as I continue to play this role of queen in my sister's place, his lips draw back in a smile. Happy name day, my queen. Name day, what a joke. My name was erased from the book of names on the day of my birth. Until recently, no one has ever known that our line of queens produces twins, one to rule, one to forfeit. I'm supposed to be the forfeit, the second born, the body double, the decoy, the fake. Look how well it's working. A shudder slithers down my spine, and I have to consciously try not to pluck at the material of my gown. I'm supposed to look like a cactus rose, all pale pinks and soft petals, as a foil to Edelon's ice blue costume but the skirt is so flouncy it annoys me. The mask itches, and the bodice presses my breasts up practically to my chin. Every breath makes them heave. All of which makes sitting beautifully still for the king at my side near impossible. He knows I'm not Tabra. He knows 